Good day everyone! For today's video, we're going to study comparing and ordering of similar fractions. When you say similar fractions, these are the fractions with the same denominators. Let's have this illustration. The fraction for the first illustration on the left side is 4 6 since we have 4 shaded parts. While the fraction on the right side is 2 6. Which of the two fractions is bigger? That's correct. It's 4 6. How about this illustration? The fraction on the left side is 3 tenths, while the fraction on the right side is 6 tenths. The question is, which of the two fractions is smaller? That's correct children, it's 3 tenths. In comparing of similar fractions, we simply look at the numerator. The fraction with a larger In comparing of similar fractions, we simply look at the numerators. The fraction with the larger numerator is the bigger the fraction, and the fraction with the smaller numerator is the smaller the fraction. Let's compare the fractions using greater than, less than, or equal symbol. Let's have the first one, 3 tenths and 7 tenths. The answer is... That's correct, it's less than. So 3 tenths is less than 7 tenths. Why? Because 7 is bigger than 3. Is that clear? How about if we have this, 4 fourths and 5 fifths? The answer is... That's correct, it's equals. Why equals? Because 4 fourths is equal to 1 and 5 fifths is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to 1. Is that clear, children? How about if we have this one? 6 eighths and 4 eighths. The answer is greater than because 6 eighths is greater than 4 eighths. Because 6 is bigger than 4. Is that clear? How about if we have this? 10 fifths and 8 fifths. The answer is greater than. Because 10 is bigger than 8. How about if I have this set of fractions? I want you to arrange this in ascending order. When you say ascending order, that is from least to greatest or smallest to biggest. Which of this fraction is the smallest? That's correct. It's one tenth. How about the second one? Good job, children. It's, it's two tenths. How about the third one? Very good. It's four tenths. How about the last one? Obviously, it is 8 tenths. So the fraction 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 4 tenths, and 8 tenths is arranged in ascending order. Again, when you say ascending order, that is from least to greatest. How about if we have this? Let's arrange these fractions in ascending order. Again, ascending order leads to greatest or smallest to biggest. Which of this fraction is the smallest? That's correct, children. It's 2 fifth. How about the next one? 3 fifth. The third one is 4 fifth. And obviously, the last one is 8 fifths. This fraction is arranged in ascending order. How about if we have this one? Let's arrange this fraction in descending order. When you say descending order, that is from greatest to least or biggest to smallest. Which of this fraction is the biggest? Very good, it's 12 eighths. How about the next one? Good job, it's 7 eighths. The next one is... 5 eighths, and lastly, we have 1 eighth. This fraction is arranged in descending order. When you say descending order, that is from greatest to least. 
How about this one? Let's arrange this in descending order, or from greatest to least. Which of this fraction is the greatest? Very good, it's 21 15. How about the next one? That's correct, it's 19 15. How about the next one? Very good, children, it's 11 15. And lastly, we have 3 15. So this fraction is arranged in descending order. Always remember to compare similar fractions. Simply look at the numerators. The fraction with the bigger numerator has the bigger value. 